now we will talk about our, let's call it the heart of our entire enterprise. The new SNG mixer who can make the mixture accurately, safely and reliably. Gas mixture. We've already discussed this slide. Why is this mixer used to mix different gases? We try to do it this way so that in the end we get the appropriate calorific value for the company with which we are talking. We mix hydrogen, LPG, natural gas with biomethane, air, and purified biogas. We can also, hmm, let's say, enrich natural gas, whether it's addressed or any LPG gas, by increasing its calorific value. We've talked about these systems many times already, so I might skip that. Yes, this is gas. SNG gas is similar enough to natural gas. If I repeat myself to replace natural gas under the right conditions, that's what's needed. For example, if there is some kind of leak in the factory which uses natural gas, then our system activates and maintains those very important parameters. For example, consider a glassworks where we might stop for a few hours, even a little more. We already have huge losses. So these backup systems are popular. Anyway, where do we get it from? This abbreviation, this acronym MGA. MGA is our blender. It's from mixer. Gas and tomatic. Well, SNGT 4X, then we have it. And the efficiency that we have. This is a unique automatic blender that can control the mixture in real time. So it opens the appropriate valves. The equipment to maintain those necessary parameters we use vortex flow meters, which already control our pressure and temperature, along with two electric controlled sine gate valve type control valves. We'll go through all the parameters of this blender in detail shortly. Well, here, as you can see, we have nine so-called main uniqueness advantages. To this blender, starting from the left to the right, we have the first additional pressure control using a pressure sensor with the light seeker. We already have good control at the beginning. We use filters with very effective filtration, but we also get a filter that won't get clogged with some poor gas. We also appropriately select the equipment. Reliability of regulation. Pressure. These are membrane regulators with lower requirements. We can also focus here on the high measuring with the Andres Hauser vortex flow meter. In the Andres Hauser vortex flow meter case, we can specify four parameters. Why did we choose these at all? Solutions for our blender. Endres Hauser. This is reliability and long-term operation. Stability of operation. And a lot of these parameters, you can go to the website and read about it. What is important for us, for our mixers, this is a built-in temperature and pressure sensor so we can monitor the temperature and pressure in real time automatically. And what is important, we set these flow meter for two liquids for LPG on LPG gas and air, so we are already controlling it. Simultaneously, air and volatile LPG and integration and automation because we can collect all the readings in our box and then control everything in millisecunda. Next, what do we have? Iron valves. There will also be three slides about these, four. Why did we choose these valves? And what are the benefits of this valve? That will also be very interesting. We'll discuss why check valves. This is an additional safeguard so that the gas doesn't come back to us. Yes, valves. 
Shubhat Saza, sliding gates technology. Why are they used at all and why did we choose these? Because guillotine valves are important for our assessments and analyses when designing this device. Because it's a simple design, a long service life, what does that mean? That the throttling function here is precise enough that we can control it in milliseconds through the pipe. The engine, the pressure and flow in this device For example, comparing a shutter valve with a valve like this, saddle valve, so here, we're focusing on efficiency, compatible construction and low noise level. For example, to make this work, it only takes 10 units of force for the guillotine valve in relation to this valve. The side valves, I mean saddle valves. And that's why there's a need for smaller drives, and it's more efficient in operation. Additionally, it makes the control very precise, high speed and cycle productivity. Soon it means that it reacts immediately and gives us those parameters at the output that are close to ideal values. And what is very important, the weight of this valve is also very important. If we uh, take some large diameters, like 150, for example, DNA, compared to regular valves, it doesn't weigh that much. That's also important. If there's an urgent delivery by air, it's cheaper overall to deliver it. There's also one more plus. Well, compared to the membrane diaphragm, actuator valve, and with the drive, with a motor drive. So what do we have? So we have speed, energy efficiency, precision of regulation, very smooth operational safety and a lot. Still, still, the advantages like functional reusability, I don't think this video will be released either. It's a real shame because you could have seen it to see, all right, let's move on. And let's move on. Why do we even use this yellow pipe in our heart? Well, this is to mix it properly without various other, let's call them swirling topics that will mix effectively gas, this is about safety and gas mixing. We use the technology that ensures the gas at the outlet doesn't pulse protection against getting liquid SNG gas. We also predicted that, what will we do? We simply placed it there, mounted it, and integrated the temperature sensor, which will catch if there's any liquid and stop our entire system Gas detection dam is also important. We also do that. We also install a device that will detect a gas leak. It will immediately start screaming. And it was faint. So there's signaling, sound and optical. Additionally, we have a multifunctional control panel, which for example, we have here, where we can monitor it from home while drinking coffee. And not just that, we can set it up somewhere behind a certain zone. We can set it up in the control room. We can monitor over 20 parameters in real time. Is everything okay? And the operator just looks and analyzes. Additionally, the advantages of this SNG control system. We have that remote control and monitoring, as I mentioned, at home with coffee. Counts. 20 parameters, well then the pressure, pressure of the transmitter, flow, volume, and various other topics and signals that you hear. What they see on the screen, regulating the density of LPG is also possible. We can control everything, remotely control, 
pressure control too. Gas detection and signaling will also be displayed through an uh, icon blinking. So we will definitely know what is happening in the control room. Detection of the liquid phase of SNG means in this yellow phase, in this part of our blender, it's also being controlled. Mainly the advantages, this is our products of our blender, this is compliance with the PET directive. We'll get that compliance in two months. We're already on the way. I'll show you those certificates in a moment. Control panel. With a programmed PLC controller, you can go in there to check the history, see what happened. Analyze, adjust, etc. Floor, application at low and high pressure. There's a big variation with the pressure regulator. We can also adjust all of this and various other benefits. Automatic control of proportions. We can control all of that. Two. What are the technical specifications? That the main points are the output pressure, SNG. We can control from 0 0.1 to 6 bar. The diameter of the LPG outlet ranges from 25 to 150. What else do we have that's interesting? A output performance. The output mixture SNG ranges from 250 to 8500 men3 of normal. You can also find that information in the brochures. This mixer has undergone radiological testing. These are the documents, the first two pages. So we also examined it. We also have optional equipment that we can provide as a maximum. In addition to, we also present those separate evaporators, LPG and Senji blenders in one. Let's call it a modular portable station. Besides having the LPG evaporation station here, we can install it there. Additionally, the blender that will give us SNG gas at the output. This is more like that. It's a complicated device too. We have projects for that, so we can do something like that. Additionally, we have optional equipment. We collaborate with Endershauser, and we can provide it at the output if it's necessary for the client to measure what weight we actually got out. That's why there are chromatographs and we can measure carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, humidity, oxygen, and nitrogen. We can also mix the parameters at the output. Additionally, by installing these systems, as I mentioned before, we can not only obtain SNG, LPG plus air, but we can also mix biomethane from the biogas plant. For example, we can additionally dose biomethane into the grid through our blenders. It's possible we can mix other gases achieving the appropriate parameters of the mixed gas, which are, for example, for transmission companies, maintaining high pressures up to 40 bars or at low pressures. And the operation of this device, which will mix these gases, is from 60 to 350 degrees. Well, that would be all. I invite you to collaborate.